True crime, but terrible sight here, world of YouTube. And all crime junkies. The uh, Vanessa Seja case. Oh boy, hang on. Some bitch needs attack. Um, doing a little mapping on this case. And um, just for the simple fact of this weird so-called Cook County Sheriff's Police about which is handling the investigation said it got a ping off Siege's cell phone in nearby Oak Forest but could not with certainty if she was at the apartment complex where the ping originated. Now isn't this bizarre? This just don't make no sense. So, I'm going to start off with the uh, mapping of the parks. Midlothian Meadows. It does not indicate, of course, what part she was in, but there is a little parking spot here. And then trails, of course, extend out to other trails. <clears throat> Instead of... The mother took off and went jogging. Of course, that don't say which way. But I'm assuming, assuming the car was parked at this little round hole. And as you can see, yeah, there's like a racetrack type running track. So, I don't know if these are parking areas down here, but. And then you got another one up there or over there. But like I say. You know, wherever the mother started running. Yeah, and someone commented, oh my God, I would have waited for my daughter. Is right. If you're going to jog, why would you take off and finish your jog? And then, you know, this is a big ass track, as you can see. And sit there and not think, wow, why ain't she caught up yet? Right? And wait till you get back to the parking spot where he originated from. And say, wow, she ain't here. And it, it, it don't say what part of the woods where she was. But, um, or where even the body was found. But, it only can be a couple places because of the apartment complex. And one of them would be up there. Up there where I just drew the dot. Or maybe somewhere in here. I'll show you why in a minute. So, I mean, cadaver dogs were used in this area. Now, there is one possibility that this is maybe not connected to Delphi is right. But there's some other thoughts, theories, ideas, and that's all that is in this channel. So make everybody know, thoughts, theories, ideas, not facts, people. Thank you. <clears throat> that, um, the only reason why I would think it wouldn't shy away from the Delphi case and make it not a, you know, traveling serial killer is because how close this apartment complex is and they can't figure out what I just read you where the cell phone pinged off from now if the cell phone pinged off apartment complex that means only one thing maybe someone there lives there and is the killer so that being said 
And you remember where I put my markers. And there's a bigger di diameter of the metals. Of course, there's another place down here, but I don't think there's any actual, you know, real good walking trails or whatever than this place. They were in this place, and then you got a heritage thing down here, which also says Oak Forest, that was found in Oak Forest. But I don't know if the Oak Forest is this whole area. And then you got Oak Forest over here, but of course that's nowhere near a forest. And this right here is this South Mahil, Mahil, whatever the hell that's it. Sorry, I don't <laughs> use that word every day. Woods East, so everything down here, I would say, would not mean nothing. Oak Forest being where they said the ping was, but not sure, being over here. As the only forest. And then you got everything up there. Where the body was found. Makes it confusing. Because now as you can see. The mapping. And this is a heavy. Heavy. Area. Goddamn residential. So damn. Broad daylight people. Residential. Look at all the friggin' houses. And then an active golf course. Which I know in my hometowns, all the golfers are golf golfers. <laughs> yes. We have the old Caddyshack. Kill all the golfers. The golfers. <laughs> you know, all them golfers. Are out golfing. But this is a heavy area, residential area. And I'm sure. So, as I was rudely interrupted, um, like I say, going over this whole case and maybe there could be a killer living nearby um leads me to this we got the Knox apartment and you got the Oak Forest Ill apartments so as the law enforcement thing here nearby Oak Forest could not be certain if she was at the apartment complex where the ping originated. So what does that mean? I well, you mean a couple things. That her phone got stolen after she got murdered. And her body was found two days later. Does that mean the killer maybe took it to this place? Or down here to this place? And then brought it back? Or she was killed, right? The phone, battery phone, died. But it still don't make no sense. Because the f phone pinged. Now, whether or not she was trying to text her mother to ask her how far she was into a run. And then the killer, woof, swooped her in the woods. And immediately phew, did what he did. And she was stabbed. Stabbed. That means she was being stalked. But another theory, and I haven't looked this up yet. Whether or not the killer shut her phone off and then it, or just shut it down 
after the text or call she was trying to do and just left it there to die or he shut it off completely what about the fact that is there any nearby hotels but supposedly it was near the apartment complex so if anything and it's saying near Oak Forest which is down here and it could be over in this apartments. That means maybe he killed her and started walking, then used it, then went there, then went back, put it back on her, or shut it off, wiped the phone clean of prints, then went back home. Or he just used that place to park. Then again, if there was a compartment complex, in some places you have to have passes in your window or tickets stating you live there. So, what really is being held on this case? It, it's insane. And for the cadaver dogs not to find this girl, but two days later, maybe the killer just maybe brought her to the apartment complex, then brought her back. But as you can see, this place is fully, fully. Although, yeah, there are woods there. I only can say so much. That he walked through here and there looks like no houses here in a wooded area. Whoosh. A lot of thoughts and theories to go with this. But once again, here we are in the confusion. Here we are. Oh my God, it's broad daylight. Cadaver dogs missed the body. Insane. That ain't the first time cadaver dogs missed the body. <clears throat> it's just crazy how this how this case is. But if there is a motel around, which I haven't looked that up yet, to say so, he parked enough time in the apartment complex for someone to say, whose car is that? That ain't one of our residents. You know damn well he ain't going to want to park at the park itself. Around here, say so. And to be seen. But that is nuts. Bridge guy, maybe, and I got a comment. From uh, my peeps. Thank you very much. And I will be looking up on this. And... I have looked up what she looked up, but I did not put it in the words in the Google search like she did. And it was, oh, wow. I looked up serial killers, I believe I said. Yeah, they've never been caught. Didn't find much. Brings up all the obvious, all the ones that are, you know, still out there. But it don't bring up too much. Too much. But she typed in active serial killers. And she said, whoa. What she found is unbelievable. I want to think of that. And that's what I like about this. The fans. You see? You got to have fans, people. And I thank each and every one of you coming on here. Helping me. I help you. We help each other. That's the way it should be. The band needs the fans. The YouTubers need the fans. You collide your heads together. Boom. Come out with great stuff. She ain't the first one to put out stuff, articles, that, this. Thank you all. Thank you all, man. I'm, I know that my views have been going down, though. Cases are obviously getting boring on my end, but... <clears throat> Looking up on that is coming up next. 
active serial killers, huh? But, as you can see, this is insane. This person ain't too far from the park if they're talking about apartment complex. And if the case is they have done any search in these apartment complexes to check for any weird misplaced people still needs to be known. It got pinged at an apartment complex, but they're not certain. Hmm. Bizarre. Very bizarre. But, like I said, I want to look in to see what motels are around in this area, too. I think, you know, using that apartment complex or even motels. Something was nearby someone. Or they just dragged her in them woods there, you know, near the cell tower, and just, you know, broad daylight, boom, dead. That's it. I'm gonna talk about balls of steel, huh? Hmm. But it's true, people, and the mapping grows with this serial killer. All around the same area like I showed in my previous mapping. A traveling serial killer. State Park serial killer. That's what I'm labeling him as. The State Park serial killer. Huh? Now, it's the scary thought of what State Park's going to come up next. Till that next video, be safe, take care, always beware, especially when you're out in wooded areas, people. You know, it's great that the state, cities, towns are doing all this, getting up paths for people to get out there to enjoy a nice, comfortable walk, especially through this COVID-19 bullshit pandemic, but now it's bringing out new, sick, demented thoughts. To the people that are insane and sick and they need to be eliminated from this earth. Here they come. Using new ways. And it's sick. They need to pass a law. Just like Germany did for women to get getting raped. If you're getting attacked people. And it should be man, woman, child. And people need to be properly trained to think like a killer, too, in my eyes. Properly trained. So if they do get attacked, they can kill them. That's it. Germany did it. Women are allowed to t kill their attackers. You know, all hail them for that. No more rape. No more murder. Only to the ones that deserve it. Should happen here. That's it. Bottom line. And if someone gets charged for killing someone because they're being attacked, then I hope the whole world comes to support that person and they get acquitted. Because enough is enough. Out.